Hello everyone, uh, welcome again to the episode review. If you are wondering how we watch these episodes, uh, go to the Koro Koro YouTube channel, C-O-R-O, C-O-R-O, get a VPN, a VPN. The specific one I use is Tunnel Bear to watch it, but you can use whatever VPN, it doesn't have to be a Tunnel Bear. Uh, then after you set the country to Japan, and then after you can find it, make sure you are doing it correctly. I've seen some comments saying it uh, didn't work. Uh, just gotta make sure you're doing it uh, right, and uh, it'll work. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to be talking about uh, the episode, my overall thoughts. Uh, do not worry, this will not be too long. Uh, the episode immediately starts with Free, uh, Silas, Shu, and Lane. Uh, very funny too, which... Uh, the sequence where Free does the nothing break is actually ripped out of uh, Arthur from GT. So they use like the bank animation of that shot and they just replaced it for Free. Which is funny because I, it, it looked so familiar but I didn't realize what it was. But uh, yeah, it's just a fun fact there. So Free does the nothing break. Uh, Spriggan, of course, uh, counters it and knocks out Fafni right away. And Lane is going up against Silas. So Silas already has a triple uh, twister out. Uh, then Lane uh, yells Flare, and he depowers Satan right away. Uh, I cannot, uh, I can't make this up. Uh, it, it, it's more funny just seeing Lane at this point, just because he just wins. It's just like, you could just yell Flare, and that's it. Speaking of which, uh, I don't know the exact conversation that he has. Obviously, I can't speak uh, Japanese. But uh, the discussion was, I guess, on Lane and his flare and how his power keeps on growing. I'm assuming that Free hopes that Volt and, or maybe he can overcome it. And I think he does mention that Lane is trying to, or he tried to, get, I don't know if Lane's trying to get his revenge or he's trying to get revenge on Lane. But uh, the one thing I'm a little bit upset about is just the fact that they kind of built up Free versus Lane. <laughs> since that was like the, like his first real opponent was Free, Free made Mirage because of the fact and that he wanted to be able to be have a stronger Fafnir to compete with Lucifer. And, you know, it's kind of like, this could have been one of the longer battles. They could have had the other one a little bit shorter. But uh, I, it has Igra and Ranjiro, uh, plan if I mix it up, I do apologize, uh, planning. So I did enjoy uh, this battle quite a bit. I thought that it's very cool seeing Volt and Rantaro against Igra and Ranjiro. Uh, it, it's a cool clash of the generations of the Chizetsu and, you know, the original. So they're all clashing, and this is, the, I think, the funniest moment. It's where Ragnarok, I think it does something like, he, he, he bites the lollipop, right? <laughs> and it does, what is it, Hyper Tornado or whatever? The Super Ultimate Tornado. It's, it's the strongest tornado. It's a stronger version of it. So Achilles rides on the tornado and it bursts uh, Ragnarok, which is super cool. And in the coolest fashion, he dives down and he clashes with Volt and Volt is defeated. Which in this case, I'm perfectly fine with them losing because it's strategy, right? If it's strategy, it's fine. It's kind of funny because the only time where this is kind of avoided is really when it comes to the Shu and Lane battles because it's just Lane the well, that's not really that true because he did well to a certain extent they had some strategy like when she attacked him to activate the limit break but still it's like i feel like these other battles are more interesting just because of the cool combos we then have to get louis and drum versus Huga and hikaru so we get a good moment where they're all getting uh, flared up and they remember what walkie was saying i'm assuming i'm assuming that it's just uh, they have to be unified if they want to win uh lane gets very upset uh, they activate uh, their limit break. Well, actually, no. They don't activate the limit break yet. They all do the clash at once. And then the twins realize, oh yeah, we have that limit break gimmick. So they do, what is it, a twin limit break or whatever. And uh, they did it. They uh, they did it. Of course, it ends off uh, with Lane. And of course, the one second Harry cameo. Uh, with Lane just getting upset or whatever. Next week is going to be really awesome because next week is actually going to be the combo of Drum and Louie. And I love the fact that actually Tempest Dragon actually has the Rainbow Aura. So they managed to not forget the fact that the whole GT Rainbow thing, which I think is really cool. I think it's like Raging Tempest or whatever. 
I think uh, the combo stuff is really cool when it's the two out. It, this is this is really cool. I'm very excited uh, for this uh, episode, mostly because uh, anytime we really get Drum and Louie, it's always it, it's just a good pairing. I don't know. It's just, it's just that the two dragons are just a good pairing. Uh, if I had any complaints for the episode, I think overall that just the idea that Lane just keeps on winning. Just why? Because Flair is really not a good, you know, eh, it's not that good. Uh, I, and I always enjoy the stuff uh, with, really, it's really just Lane I have the issue with. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, let me know. I won't keep uh, the review too, too long. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. So thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.